So recently, I've been thinking about what it means to have fun in League of Legends. Because we all know this can be tilting as shit if you don't sort of prep your mental before you interface with it. It's sort of like going paintballing. It's fun as fuck at the start, but if you don't have protective gear on, you're going to get your ass lit up. So in this video, we'll discuss what it means to have fun in this game, what things are preventing you from having that fun, and what steps you can take to get the most out of your time playing League of Legends. So let's answer the most important question first. What does it mean to have fun in League of Legends? It's an honest question because it's a concept that even most veterans struggle with. We all know how fun and exciting League was in your first year or so. Some of the best times I've had playing this game was during my early years, when I didn't know anything and I was just simply running around the map playing my favorite champions and doing shit I thought was cool. Those were definitely simpler times. I think I speak for most League veterans when I say I wish I could recapture those days, when I was just simply a wide-eyed noob who simply wanted to experience the game their way. And it's this becoming a noob that's the secret to having fun in League. It's simply the act of playing the game according to your own standards and not letting anything dictate how you should be enjoying the game. When you were a noob, you didn't give a flying fuck about half the things you care about now. Believe it or not, you treated League like a regular video game back then, simply immersing yourself in the experience of playing those unique champions and customizing them in your own unique way. That's the mind frame you'll have to recapture if you want to stop hating your life playing this game. It's simple enough to follow, but we all know it's not that easy. We're so caught up that we forget we're supposed to be playing a fucking video game. Now, with the preamble out of the way, let's delve a little bit deeper into why you're not having fun with League. Number one, optimizations. You've probably heard of the saying, perfect is the enemy of good. That quote perfectly summarizes how ruminating on the optimal way to play can suck the fun right out of your league experience. Unfortunately, the business of optimization has become quite a trend in the recent years over a variety of domains, from everything from fitness to lifestyle hacks. Social media has allowed us to amalgamate all available knowledge into best practices, which promise the highest rates of success within a particular pursuit. And we've even seen this across League of Legends too. People have figured out the best way to get views, especially from newer players, is to crank out patch tier lists every two weeks so they can provide an updated summary of what champions to play to guarantee the highest chance of success. Now, I've already beaten to death why this approach is ultimately harmful to new players and ends up teaching them the wrong mindsets within their rank journey. So I'm not going to cover that here. You can watch this video linked in the top right. Instead, I'm here to tell you that subscribing to this barrage of optimization is definitely ruining your experience playing the game. When you're exposed to best practices, you start to chase the outcome instead of the action. Instead of queuing up to the game and playing your favorite champion with a sick new build you theorize, you look up one of these tier list videos on what the S tier champions are and find the highest win rate build for them to abuse. Bear in mind this method can definitely work to result in more wins, and winning is definitely fun, don't get me wrong. However, what happens when you hit that inevitable plateau point when you have to sit in the mud for that much longer before you can chain together some wins again? What happens when you go on that losing streak? Are you still enjoying your champion? Are you still having fun with that build? While there's a time and place for optimizations, we as League of Legends players, especially ranked climbers, have to realize that the whole point we got hooked onto League was because of the infinite number of experiences we can have by immersing ourselves onto different champions and their kits. When we started out, we knew fuck all about optimal build paths and S tier champions. While these are important factors to guarantee a degree of success in ranked, they aren't the best for ensuring you have fun with the game again. So dedicate some time throughout the week to turn your brain off to all the optimizations you've been conditioned to and simply play League. Fuck my meta picks, fuck meta builds, fuck all of that. You're not trying to become a pro player here, you're simply trying to enjoy the game as if you were playing it for the first time. Leave some time throughout the week to simply treat League like a regular video game, like an old fashioned RPG, and immerse yourself in the experience and forget about the outcome. Number 2. Rank Speaking of optimizations, let's delve a little bit more deeper into why people are looking to optimize so much. Rank is the biggest proponent by far for why people fall out of love for this game and begin to hate the shit out of it. Rank in League of Legends is probably its most infamous aspect. It's what draws people into this game in droves and has them grinding for countless hours to achieve and or maintain it. But it's also what drives people insane with how extremely difficult and frustrating it can be to achieve. In League of Legends, rank might as well be your social standing. It gives you that juicy social proof to have your opinions about the game mean something and because it's so hard to achieve, you genuinely, genuinely feel proud of hitting your rank goals. And we all know that, oh, it's just a rank in a video game bro doesn't really hold up. League of Legends is notorious for manipulating people into investing an inordinate amount of time into its rank ladder. People really do give a fuck about this shit and I've seen firsthand how even real life friend groups can be changed in the context of League of Legends rank. It's crazy but we all know it's true. Playing League to achieve a certain rank can be a rewarding and fulfilling experience, don't get me wrong. 
However, it's not for everybody all the time. I think most people know if they're not cut off for the ladder or not, but what I think most people don't even realize is that even dedicated ladder climbers are allowed to take a few days or even a whole split off just to recover and recharge. The psychologists at Wide HQ are designing rank systems to mimic status progression in real life. It's important to acknowledge that fact because if you sacrifice fun and your love of the game simply to chase a specific rank so you can feel that hit of social proof, you fucked up completely. Don't get me wrong here, most of this channel is dedicated to giving you the tips and tricks that I used as a non-talented gamer to achieve a rank that still remains out of the periphery of most people's grasp. I've had tons of fun throughout my rank journey from bronze to diamond and I've distilled my 12 year journey down to tidbits so people can achieve that higher rank for themselves even if they're not naturally talented at video games. However, while grinding for a particular rank can be fun and enjoyable, it's not something you need to do perpetually all the fucking time. Taking breaks from your climb or simply coming to terms with the fact that climbing the ladder is something you don't really give a flying fuck about can be a great first step into taking control of your League of Legends fun and not letting it be dictated by that shiny border on your loading screen. Piggybacking off that last point, the third reason why the game might not be as fun for you is maybe because of your own friend groups. Having friends that play League can be a double-edged sword to say the least. On one hand, playing with people you like and genuinely vibe with can be an extraordinarily fun experience. Sometimes I just want to sit down and play a couple of games with the people I like. Overcoming adversity in a fun and stimulating environment is one hell of a fucking drug and it's probably the biggest reason why I and a lot of other people around the world keep coming back to this fucking game 12 years in. However, it can also be quite a detriment, especially in toxic friend groups. I've had numerous friend groups, especially as a teen, where rank equated to social status and it developed corrosive cycles where people would treat you less as a person simply because you were worse at the game than others. In other circles I was in, it was the inverse problem. In one particular friend group I left rather recently, I was one of the two best players on the Discord server. And as a result, I virtually had no fucking room for error. Every minor mistake or trying a new champion would be met with extreme prejudice. People would not like the fact that I would try new shit out in normals and they would go out of their way to just make me feel bad for like feeding a little bit because they, I was supposed to be this like good player in their eyes and they didn't want me to try new champions. When it comes to having fun with friends, it's important to set boundaries while you interface with other people. Not everyone has the same priorities and goals as you when you log on to the game, but some people aren't smart enough to understand that. So stay true to why you choose to play the game and don't let peer pressure distort it to any degree. The fourth and final reason why you're not having fun is simply because you're playing too fucking much. Reducing the number of games is a huge pillar on my channel when it comes to climbing, but I recently found out that it can also do wonders for limiting the amount of frustration we have with the game. So gaming in a very holistic sense is a very, very stimulating activity. That's why it can be so addicting. Now, League has some extra aspects to it that make it even more addicting than a regular game, especially for some personalities, and especially if you manage to find a particular champion and or playstyle that you really vibe with. However, consistent exposure to a high dopamine activity like Lee can severely fry our dopamine receptors and increase tolerance to it. Anyone that's pulled degenerate ass hours on the weekends can attest to how boring and dull League can feel after you drop like 10 fucking hours in a single day. Most of the fun evaporates and you're sort of filled with an empty regretful feeling like you should have done something else with your time instead. This is called desensitization and it's one of the worst parts of addiction. You gradually put more and more hours into a high stim activity simply to get the same hit of dopamine and it eventually spirals into addiction. The worst part of League addiction as opposed to some other addictions is that most times you're not even having fun while playing it since you can only have so much impact as one player out of 10. Remember my philosophy about playing less games to increase intensity? It's the same mechanic but instead of intensity we're increasing fun. By reducing the amount of exposure you have to that simulation, you're increasing the amount of pleasure and fun you experience when you finally decide to play. By giving your dopamine receptors a break, you're allowing them to resensitize the league again and this will help deliver a fulfilling and fun experience. Now, y'all know how I do things guys, for the people who have stuck with me for this long into the video, I'm going to drop a secret fifth tip that I've been personally using to make League more fun again, and that is to capture creative impulses. Now, I've already hinted at this early in the video, but let me go into more detail here. As a ranked climber, there are certain rules that I impose upon myself to guarantee a better chance of success. Those are my big three fundamentals, which I've already covered in excruciating fucking detail. You can find the playlist in the top right. However, adhering to these fundamentals require a level of discipline and forward thinking. Sometimes I just don't want to play my champion. Sometimes I just don't want to check what the correct builds are. Sometimes I just don't even want to fucking play at all. This is where capturing your creative impulses come in. 
So capturing your creative impulse is all about stopping and listening to your feelings. Now far from me of all people to sit here and tell you that you should be more in touch with your feelings but I promise this shit actually works. Sometimes your brain sort of yearns for certain things and if you pay attention and satisfy it, it can be a short but incredibly fun experience. For example guys, there were days during my break from my ranked break where I woke up and I had this insatiable urge to play a Lee Sin. It was like the randomest shit ever but I went through a whole week where I had this strange urge to just be blind and just like dash across the rift. So that's exactly what I did. I just woke up and played that one normal game of Lee, often like first thing in the fucking morning and then forgot about Lee for the rest of the day. Now the crazy thing is, win or loss, I thoroughly enjoyed this experience and this is the whole point that I'm trying to drive home for you guys. Sometimes your brain into intuitively knows what it needs to do to have fun. It's in your subconscious. Get better at recognizing it and then listening to it and then acting upon it. At first glance, those Lee games might seem ridiculous, especially considering the fact that I wasn't even a jungle main and even if I was, I wouldn't never play some complicated shit like Lee. However, those games were a breath of fresh air and it allowed me to redouble my efforts on the ranked grind without burning out. Think of it sort of like a cheat meal but for your league appetite. So that's it from the video guys. If you guys want more insights on League, whether it's ranking up, overcoming addictions, or just simple esports analysis, join my free Discord server, links are in the description below. If you want more videos on me breaking down how to have fun in League, these two videos will be your next stop. In the first video on the left, I discuss how normal games are quite underrated for making you a better player, as well as having more fun in the process. The second video delves a little bit deeper into the rules of intensity, which piggybacks off one of the tips I discussed in this video, which is to play less to increase fun. I'll see you guys there, and remember guys, anyone can get diamond.